Right, everyone. You see that behind me? That's the chateau. That means I'm home, and that means we can get back to work. So cue the title sequence, and I'll see you in a minute. Three years ago, me, my brother Billy, and his fiance Gwendolyn took on the mammoth task of restoring this stunning French chateau. At first, it was just the three of us. But since then, the whole family has moved in to help bring this place back to its former glory. And not forgetting the newest family member, baby Ernest. We do everything ourselves, from fixing the leaky roof, managing the vast 60-acre estate, to restoring the grand interiors back to the way they were a hundred years ago. It's not always easy, but that's what makes life in a place like this interesting. My name's Michael and I'm going to be showing you what it's like to live, work, and play at Chateau de la Bamignée. Hello? No, sorry, not today. Oh, it's you. <laughs> what I'm, are you doing here? I'm back. When did you get back? Last night, did you not notice? No. <laughs> what a load of rubbish. You knew well, I was the here. Fridge was empty, so it, must been, it must have been somebody. Come in. <laughs> Welcome home. Right, you want to show me what you've been up to then? Yeah. Yeah? Sorry, I'm not dressed for the occasion. I've oh, been working. It's all right, don't worry about it. So what's new? Yeah, what's new? You need to spot what's been done. This is a, this is a game we can play. Well, I know what you were doing, but I haven't seen it. Well, I've probably sent you some photos. You sent me photos. First of all, you've been doing up the study, haven't you? I've got a cobweb on my face. <laughs> a bit itchy. Yeah, sorry we haven't cleaned. Oh, it's all right. It's not a chateau without a few spiders, is it? Yeah. Oh! Oh, so I've seen these. These are the oak doors you have made. The new bookcases. Yeah, well, these aren't oak. No, they're not oak, but you're going to paint them, aren't you? Yeah, well, so. we're, we're going to paint the doors as well, which would be a shame, but... The room is painted, isn't it? So. Yeah. Oh, you've taken all the fabric off? Yeah. So what are you going to put on here? Um, so, I, there was like, uh, somebody put plywood, one of the previous owners, yeah. to cover it up. But I thought it was such a shame. Mm -hmm. And um, the um, inserts are meant to be recessed, so what I'm going to do is put fabric in them. Oh, okay. These all need painting. Yeah, these are going to be painted. Oh, is this the original fabric? Yeah, it's, it's a bit... Is it? It's beige. It's like a crepe stuff, yeah. like a cotton. Doesn't feel like silk. It's not very nice. No, that, obviously that is not original for the chateau. Um, it might be. No. Who says they had good taste? <laughs> <laughs> they had the place built. They would have had good taste. Yeah, probably. But maybe it's just what, what was put in. Well, get rid of that because that's horrible. Yeah. Um, and, then, and that painting's still there. You're going to keep that though. That's got to stay there. Yeah, I restored that. Remember. Yep. That was well, when we first moved here four years yeah. ago. Four years ago, was it five years ago nearly? Almost five, yeah. It'd be five years in, in the, well, it was four and a half years. But you've also missed something. What? Out the window. What? There's something out the window that we did. Where? You can see it from here. The devastation we caused. Oh no, what have you done? Well, we installed a foss. Oh, the septic tank. A foss septic, yeah. Oh, so yeah, because you put a bathroom upstairs and there was no toilets uh, on this side of the building. Yeah, so you put it in. Yeah, we put the foss in. So you put that in. Yeah, we've uh, grass seeded it uh, a few days ago and it's been raining since, so. What else have you done? The bathroom. Your ensuite? The ensuite, yeah. We're going to have a look it? at that. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Show it to me, come on, let's go. Come on, catch up. I'm catching up. Well, I remember it was this way. <laughs> Always take two steps at a time up the stairs, it's good for your legs. Is it? Yeah. We'll go through Ernie's bedroom. Yeah. Well, I remember doing this room up. That's oh, oh. toys <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Trying not to kill myself. How's the wallpaper? Has it stayed on? Yep. I put that on myself, didn't I? Yeah, you did that. A really and good I job. I painted this and rest I mean, a couple of the cracks have opened up, but what's, a, what's, an, old, what's an old building without a few cracks in the woodwork? Yep. Ah, let's have a look. 
So you went with the black? Yeah. Which is quite quite fashionable at the minute. It was Gwen's decision. The black would work. I said, what do you white. want, darling? And she said black, and I went, oh, are you sure? So you got a nice shower. Yep. How's it? Did you put a new water tank in this side? Um, there's one in the basement. And that feeds this side? Just this bathroom at the moment, yeah. So it doesn't, yeah, otherwise... Well, it will go up to the next floor, but yeah, um, yeah it works perfectly. And this was an old fireplace? Yeah. So this was the original mirror that was here, right? Yeah, that's the original mirror, yeah. You painted that and you put this... So what's this? It's an old commode. Is it glued shut? Yeah. <laughs> no access to the pipes then? No. That's good. That's a good idea though. Yeah, well, I it was just laying about and uh, it was a little bit knackered, so I thought I'd uh, repurpose it to uh, make you it paint, sink. Yeah, you painted it the same colour as the, um, the woodwork. Yeah. Oh, these tiles. They're yeah. not original, are they? No. Did we cut this out? They were from, um, we found them in the uh, roof space of the cottage Dad was doing up, and yeah. they're from the chapel, aren't they? Yeah, they're the same um, tiles. There's yeah. quite a few left over, so I've used about 16 or so, I don't know. Yeah, they're nice. I've done the floor. This floor was a nightmare because it was all covered in um, bitching. Yeah. The only thing I haven't done yet is put the chandelier up. I really need to finish that. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? At least you've got a light. So what else have you been doing? Uh, bathroom, Foss, bookcase. Um, oh, outside we started doing some uh, storm drains. Because when it rains, mm -hmm. you know, we have a basement, yep. obviously, and um, when it rains, it finds its way in. Yeah, I know, every time you get heavy rain, the, the water drips down the walls in the basement and runs. Obviously, there's drainage in the basement, yep. so it drains away, but it's not nice having well, I'll go and show you what damp done. basement, is it? So let's go and have a look at the, um, at the new drainage system you put in. Well, that wasn't there before. No, that wasn't there before. You can take it up if you want. Yeah. That's it. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at the proper drainage system. So it comes along here. Yeah. Oh, there's um, one here now. Look. Yep. This drain used to just literally empty onto the floor. So that what I've awesome. also done is relayed these with Dad. Sean helps a little bit. So they're level now. Yeah, they're all be, level. They used to go up and down like yep. that. Yeah, they had all collapsed. So uh, I've done that. But also, I have tanked the, uh, the wall with this um, plastic membrane you can just about see it i still haven't done the joints i've got to do them soon what is that is it stuck to the wall it's well it's basically it's against the wall yeah. and any moisture can't go through that barrier oh of course yeah so yeah well, that's and it's quite idea, deep isn't it? and then this drain also I, I below this drain i've put a um a concrete sump oh, okay. so it collects into that and then drains to the center one yeah which then goes to the one we just saw at first <laughs> this wasn't here before. Nope. There was none of these drainage stones here before. It was just... Well, it had started in the corner. It started here. Yep. And these were missing. So where did these come from? These have come from the uh, kitchen. At the back? At the back, yeah. Well, you didn't need them there because it's got guttering on the back there, hasn't it? It's got a flat roof and no yeah. water drains off the roof. I think, um, like, one of the previous owners has moved them. Yeah. And uh, they served absolutely no purpose there. Yeah. So I've brought them back around here. We've just got one missing. That's yeah, everything. there's probably one laying around somewhere, probably in the woods. Yeah. Well, it's just good because it keeps the water, the rainwater that lands on the roof away from the building. Yeah, that's it. Because there's nothing worse. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, all that water over the years, it's going to damage the stone. It's going to yeah, cause absolutely. You know, damp. damp uh, I really didn't basement. want to do it because it's such a messy job, but I just thought, well, we've got no customers at the moment. Let's just do it. Yeah. Make a mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, now it's done. It sort doesn't of. not much of a mess. It's well, no, I've just got to put some shingle in different places. You see it's a bit dirty, the shingle as well. Yeah, but uh, it washes plenty, out. plenty of rain and it'll wash the mud off. Yeah. Of so I've just got to clean up my, my mess and um, go around the back and do the same thing. But there is a, uh, a problem in the gardener's cottage. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, obviously, I thought I was going away for two weeks and I ended up staying for two months. Um, <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll leave the Arga off while I'm away mm -hmm. uh, because I'm only going away for a short amount of time um, the place will stay dry enough um, but I didn't realize that you were going to have two months of solid rain so there's some water has got into the cottage through oh, the wall no. through the back wall and it's caused some damage should you go see dad yeah not seen him in a while come on let's go have a look see what he's been up to because you know obviously 10 weeks a lot's happened around here dad hello Oh, there you are, you're upstairs. 
see what you're up to. Alright, I'm in here. <laughs> wow, you've done loads in here, look. Did you put the side to put the joints on the basketball? Yeah. See what's bigger than I thought this one would be. Yeah, it is bigger, isn't it? Yeah, much bigger. Especially with that bent big window and all that lighting. What you put on the floor? Carpet. Carpet, oh. yeah. Thick underlaying. Yeah. That's where it stops the sound. Well, it's cheaper than wooden floor, isn't it? Yeah. What are we doing? So we're showing Dad how, how to show use the lawnmower. Do you know how to use it? Do you know how to use I it? I did use it. I used it about. Um, well, you've only sat on it and went around, didn't you? Went around a couple of times. I haven't properly used the cutting grass, so. So you've got to turn the key. Yep. <laughs> then what? Turn it again till it starts. I've actually put the um, the cutting thing down. That's it. That's no, 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 the one behind. <laughs> right. Forward. You've got to deactivate the brake, which is there. Down. That's it. And now take both handles, pull them in, all the way, and they have to stay like in that position. So, forward. Yeah, but not left and right, forward and back. That's yeah. only, yeah. It's all right, looks easy enough. I want to go now. <laughs> well, you can have a go. I think he's managing it. Quick though. <laughs> oh, it smells nice. Right, let's go and inspect the damage. We're going to have to clear all of this out starting uh, this week. Um, obviously, I was using the cottage, you know, like after Christmas, just enjoying it, getting a feel for the place. I put all my stuff in here to make it look pretty, but obviously, I can't do any work with all that, so I'm going to have to take everything out. I mean, this, this big table, yeah. we put that in just for Christmas, didn't we? We didn't, we don't, this table's too big for this place, it's mm -hmm. going to go. Yeah. Um, so, everything stayed fine. All the panelling, the kitchen up this end, all fine, no problem. The floorboards upstairs are fine. All the earth that we pulled out of here when we dug out the floor got piled up around the back. Uh, and it basically, it's, um, it's basically holding all the moisture against the wall. So we need to get the digger in there this week and dig all out a trench along this back wall so that yeah. the water doesn't sit against the wall. Yeah. So water has come through. Oh yeah, you can see it's all uh, bowed. Yes. So the wood has soaked up the moisture <clears throat> and swollen up. And obviously it can't go that way. So what's it done? It's gone that way. Yeah. But actually it's not too bad at all actually. Well, no, it's, it, it only needs um, taking off and putting back on with a bit more of a... Yeah, well thankfully it was only screwed on. Yeah. Um, now all the panelling behind the kitchen is fine because that had um, screws at the top and the bottom and also behind the kitchen units, so obviously halfway up. Um, now this had screws at the top and the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, and we were gonna put screws in halfway along, but um, we didn't. Well, it's probably a good thing that you didn't. 
It's a good thing we didn't. Um, yeah. So it's basically what's happened is the moisture, is, you can see it's here yeah. behind this part. And I went outside and I had a look and actually there's, there's pointing missing. Mm -hmm. So I think water's run down the wall, soaked through the wall. It's obviously soaked up from the bottom. We've got rising damp that's come up because um, the gutter from mum and dad's cottage drained down into that corner. Mm -hmm. And there's no runoff for it. There's no well, actual you need drainage. Appropriate system. drainage, Michael. Well, like like you've done. Well, you know how to do it now, so you can help me. Yeah, we can um, do it. So I can take off this section from here to here. Take that off, and then I'm going to have to unscrew the panels from this end one by one. Take them back. Yeah, and that's then, an easy job. And put them back on. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's not a major issue, though. I mean, there's no way you could push it back. No, of course not. And if you force that, you'd probably break it. It, it would split. Yeah. Do you I much? do have some spare ones. Oh, that's good then, yeah. I've probably got about... You only need about... Si I've got about five or six spare ones. I'll tell you what, there's probably only about one or... Well, three or four, maybe, that are actually bowed. I think if they probably are. probably this one and this one will have to be replaced. Yeah. But I do have them. And this one's fine. Well, you've made it back just in time, Michael. I should have left the Arga running. Um... We go you live and learn don't you yeah doesn't matter at least you had a nice holiday and a break another thing that might have caused this is because i i treated all the woodwork up to here oh yeah uh, you can see the color difference with where a, you have and haven't with a, with a varnish to water is it just after the light here yeah just after the light that's where it, you yeah. see that look at the top yeah you see that's where i finished oh i can see yeah uh, that was all treated and this wasn't oh i see so yeah. i think that may have uh, then you may have a moisture coming through the wall, but you may have had condensation in here. So moisture may have come from this side as well. But no water has actually come in the building. The roof's no, 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 fine. No, no, there's no water. There's no leaks. Yeah, it's just a bit of damp from outside. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. Oh, well, never mind. It'd only take about 10 minutes to undo. Yeah, but the, the most important part, which is where the kitchen is, that's all fine. Looks very cosy. Yeah, it does. We'll have to start clearing all the stuff out. But there's also, there's another problem. Um, I think that water has been coming down the flue pipe while I've been away. Oh, the enamel's come off. Yeah, the enamel will come off. See, it's rusted. Oh, it's only there though. This um, this smoke box was re-enameled in December. Oh, right, okay. So it's probably about five months old. But the problem is this this smoke box, when it was um, when it was first re-enameled, they said it actually failed uh, the firing. Um, so they actually put it back in again. So I think there may have been a problem with the cast iron. I think it may have been just too rusty. Even though they shot blasted it, it's just deep, deep rust um, and it's gone. It's, it's knackered. But luckily, luckily, I don't know why at the time I ordered two by mistake. So I have a spare one. Sure. There you go. So that just needs to be taken off uh, and put back in. So that's the enamel on that's fine. So, thankfully, that's fine, I don't have to order another one. But that's a shame. But the rest of the enamel is perfect on this. Yep. Absolutely perfect. Just that. Oh well. Um, ho Ho Green in a um, absolute matte emulsion, which is, kind of gives you that look of a distemper. It's very matte. So that's the green that's gonna be. So there, it's gonna be painted. So I'm just gonna sand off these joints. It's all been done. Um, so basically the kitchen's almost done apart from the staircase needs repairing. But upstairs, that's where I need to start next. Crack on. Crack on, yeah. Right, I'm also gonna go and see what's been happening in the wall garden because um, Steve, the gardener, has been clearing all the walls off um, of the ivy. Um, yeah, let's go and have a look. What have you been up to then, Steve? This is just a temporary fixing to uh, hold the roses back up. Well, you've done a good job. This would be like a jungle along this wall. You can actually see it the wall. It still is in parts. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it probably needs repointing, doesn't it? Look at it. All the way along, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be a big job. Is it loose? The coping stones are... Yeah, they're a bit loose, really yeah. Really loose. So uh, I'm the, not, these not... here. Oh, yeah, they're all dropping out. Yeah. Was it all full of ivy? Is that what was damaging the wall? Yeah, ivy all the way through. Oh, you can see some of it there, look. There you go. Some there. Wow. Here. It's actually growing out of the wall. It's going through the middle of the wall and out. And that's the worst thing for these kind of walls, it destroys them. A lot of the wall's been redone all the way around the other side. Yes. It's, all, it's all pointed up. Yes. Somebody's repaired it and put new coping stones on it, but 
this bit I think they just left it because it was had all the roses the old, over this it. This is the oldest part. Yeah. If you climb the ladders and have a look down the, the top, yeah, you'll see. Let's go up and have a look then. Oh, it's in a right state. The top needs redoing, a bit of pointing, but the, yeah. majority, the majority of it's structurally sound. I mean, it's a it's a thick wall, isn't it? It's, uh, oh yeah. It's it's I think it's probably the outside that's the worst, but the inside's fine. It'll like see me ten times over. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the uh, grass over there. It's starting, starting to look like a jungle. I'm sure Billy will cut that all soon. But the thing is, it's been, it's been raining a lot, Pat, hasn't it, here? Three weeks solid. Three weeks of solid rain. Three weeks of solid rain. I've got damage in the cottage. And yeah, and uh, it's... It'll, it'll dry out, but if you put um, a dado rail down the middle, it'll hold it. It'll oh, really? Stop, stop it from blowing again. Right, I'll do well, that Unless then. you've got really, really thick wood. It's quite thick wood. It's just, um, I don't think it was um, secured on enough. That only was screwed on at the top and the bottom, and there was no nothing securing it. Our glamping pods are the same, but I've only got thin thin wood in there, yeah. so I put a dado rail down the middle. And that just secures and that's it. And that's held it, held yeah. it back. Should we go and get some eggs? Yeah, let's go and get some eggs. So I've, have I become your cameraman? Well, you're not filming yourself, so you might as well film me, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, so we've got 12 chickens. Um, and I thought, 12, well, you know, I thought that's a good number, you know, then you're not going to get 12 eggs a day, but I think we have been getting a lot of eggs, and um, no one's really been eating them. The last time I went out in there yesterday, there was probably about 50 eggs in trays that the people haven't eaten, they've just been piling up. Let's, um, first of all, let's look in here. Okay, look, look at this. So, yeah, that's quite a few eggs. So we don't really need to, we just take that. But I think there might be some more ch in the chicken coop. Should we have oh, a look yeah. in there? Okay, but we could use them first. No, 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 yeah. We'll, 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 the ones we get today, if there's any in there, they can go at the back of the pile. Yeah. Gwen uh, did one the other day and it had two yolks in. A double yolker? Double yolker. Yeah, you usually get those when the chickens are quite young. Um, and they oh, are. Yeah. Oh, hello, girls. Have, have you named them all yet? We named them all Karen, remember? They were all called Karen, except one of them I called Muir. No, no, in! There should in. there should be a Brenda somewhere. No, no, we're not calling them Brenda. <laughs> Brenda's at the zoo <laughs> with the other Gibbons. Um, uh, yeah, there's eggs. We've got eggs. Ooh. Let's have a look. Oh, they're still warm, those. Oh, lovely. That's a big one. Look at the size of that. That's a big egg. Seven. I'll tell you what, they're quite friendly chickens, aren't they? They're really super friendly. They've got nest boxes. So they've got nest boxes. And they yeah. lay them on top of an old bin bag full of sawdust. So yeah. whatever makes them happy. Yeah. So that was just from today. Except for that one. Okay. Brilliant. All right, girls. How you doing? Friendly, friendly chicken. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's put these ones in there and get another tray. See you later, girls. Oh, quickly, while we're here, let me just put these down. I want to look at the tomatoes because I left in March, and the day that I before I left, I put the seeds in the soil and and just left them. Um, and mum. Mum looked after them for me, and these are the tomatoes that I um, I extracted the seeds from. You know the ones that I got from a supermarket, the um, heirloom tomatoes. Took the seeds out, fermented them, um, and there you go. We've got healthy tomatoes. But these ones are all different heirloom tomatoes, so they're not just your standard red tomato. You've got red ones, different types of red ones. You've got plums, big red tomatoes, orange plum tomatoes, yellow tomatoes, two different types of green tomatoes and a purple tomato so there you go and the seeds cost me basically nothing the price of a bag of tomatoes it's red hot in here it's really warm isn't it but this time of year you have to open the door in the day otherwise it just everything sweats so we've got tomatoes this is a pepper plant like a bell pepper um that i thought was dead but i gave it a chance i just pruned all the um the old branches off anything that looked a bit sick it grew back more tomatoes here. This is the lemon tree we planted. Um, and there's a lemon on it. If you come and have a look at this. It's obviously 
when the lemons are young, they look like limes. But that will um, that will turn into a lemon. And each one of these flowers will turn into a lemon also. So we've got cucumbers. There's two cucumbers. That's been more than enough. A squash. Well, they're not as big as Stephanie's cucumbers, are they? No, they're not. They're not as big as Stephanie's cucumber plants. Um, but I'm sure they'll they'll come along. Um, but we put ours indoors. Whereas Stephanie put hers outside. Oh. Um, it's actually probably better outside. It's a bit, they're all quite good actually because they trail. They they're like a vine. They trail for for miles. You could probably take that cucumber plant and train it outside along the wall. That's so a good actually, idea, the cucumbers yeah. will grow outside. Just the you know the root would be in here. Yep. So all looking really good. Plenty of peppers, cucumbers, the lot. We're gonna have lemons. Just you want a gin and tonic. Come in here. <laughs> you can have a Hendrix and cucumber, or you can have. You should do a little bar in here. You've got some shelves. No, I could do the cottage bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bar in there, yeah. Yeah. People want a drink. We can, we've got a bar table out there. You know, well, pub. if you fancy a drink, just turn up. Michael will serve you. Don't say that. Everyone's going to turn up now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and these grapes. You see these grapes? This is a grapevine, okay? Um, these leaves, give them another couple of weeks, um, and they're beautiful for using to make uh, domades, which is like a Greek stuffed vine leaf. You can stuff them with lamb, oh, yeah, they're mint, delicious, aren't they? and rice. Uh, and delicious and, um, and you wrap them up with the leaves and you steam them so uh, in a few weeks when they're a little bit bigger i'll make some dolmades uh, um, which i really like I had a, a greek friend and she used to make them for me well she was greek cypriot she was from cyprus but you know greeks are greek isn't it so there we go greeks uh, are greek the greeks are greek yeah have yeah. a little herb garden look at that it's coming along really nicely it's got um uh, lavender, lavender mint, um, I don't know what they are, they forget me nots, they're not herbs, but there we go. Chives, sage, um, lemon balm, another type of mint. The lemon balm goes crazy, it's really invasive, so you have to keep cutting it back constantly. Um, I don't know what happened to the thyme, thyme just doesn't really seem to grow well in this soil, so maybe we'll plant some more. So there's no thyme, but there's uh, tarragon, and also rosemary there and if you want bay leaves there's a huge tree over in that corner um it just needs some more time because i love time right okay let's take Gwen some eggs oh and also that's fennel yeah it's got everything anything you don't need and parsley yep got everything all right let's get some eggs to gwen if you're wondering where we got to well gwen good job you said let's have eggs because i just did a quick count of that well, including this tray, there was about 70 eggs that I need know. to be eaten. Your mum said there's about 60 of them or something. And I just got another 10 out of the chicken coop. Yeah. So uh, we should just probably do all of those. Yeah, and then we can we can always store them, do like well, um, I'll, I'll egg eat. and mayo. Yeah, or... exactly. I'll probably eat about four or five of those hard boiled yeah. eggs. Yeah, perfect. Right, so get some, forget um, a saucepan. Can we use one of your fancy copper ones, Bill, or...? If you want. You got one? Yeah, yeah. Has this turned into a cooking video? <laughs> because I'm not, no, sure if I'm, I'm not sure if I'm committed to a cooking video. Is that big enough? Yeah, Do you want me to put that on the gas, though? It might discolor. No, no, it's fine. I've used it, but it might taint the food because it hasn't got... Uh... Oh, it's eggs. Oh, it's eggs. It's OK. Yeah, really. it's eggs. It's gonna... just boil the water, Michael, so you okay. can... Put... Oh, perfect. Is, you that, can... is that a bit of dust in there, or is that okay? No, it's fine. <clears throat> you can use that. Yeah, yeah, let's put that on. Well, you boil it for four minutes and then turn it off and just leave it in the water for ten. This is quite a nice copper pan, Billy. Where did you get this from? Yeah, you wouldn't have recognised this because um, I bought it while you were away. But if you turn it round this way, yeah, I'm turning that way. You can see the mark Galliard. Oh, what's is that? A good one? Yeah, that's Paris. a really good one. Yeah. There's also some other nice bits. Wow, I spotted that straight away. So this is a, oh, this is the wine from Ed Nana's. The um, two magnums of Pomerol uh, from 1993. Wow. It's a nice wine. It's very light. I won't open one of them so on my own. I won't make it to bed. Um, <laughs> what size of that? Yep. Whoa, wow. That's huge. So that again is Galliard. Is that the same make? Yep. Very, and um, It's been completely restored. Well, you can, you can see that. Um, do, you, do we have an oven big enough to put that in? No. Well, so it's a showpiece. It's a showpiece. 
Yeah. Uh, it, it'd probably fit in a catering oven, but we don't have one of those. No, we don't. Oh, we might get one eventually. Yeah. But the uh, maker's one is actually the other side. It's Jules and something Galliard. But it also says Anthony. Anthony. On the side of it. I don't know what that means. Well, somebody's name, isn't it? Anthony. Maybe it was the person who owned it. I don't yeah. Know. Right, so uh, this hasn't boiled yet, but once it has, four minutes, turn it off, leave it for ten, and then they're uh, ready to go. The, the shells will come off nice and easily. Put them in, put them in, crack the, the shell, put, put them in cold water, and that's a tip from my grandmother, let the cold water sink under the shell, and then they come off really easily. Brilliant. Yeah. This looks really nice, Gwen. Mm. So what's in it? Radish, apple, Ooh. red cabbage, Tomatoes, uh, egg, cheddar, give me, give me some walnuts, mm. walnut oil, lemon oh, oil, mine, mine. and I think that's all. A hard boiled egg on the side. There we go. Look at that. Delicious. Oh, there's walnuts in it. I love walnuts. What do you think? Mm. Delicious. Very good. Look at that. You're a professional. Okay, all good.